Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Alleluia. From Psalm 89. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens. The earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength. And by your favor, our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. A reading from the Christian writings taken from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. But now, irrespective of law, the righteousness of God has been disclosed and is attested by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. They are now justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood, effective through faith. He did this to show his righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over the sins previously committed it was to prove at the present time that he himself is righteous and that he justifies the one who is faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of boasting? It is excluded. By what law? By that of works? No, but by the law of faith. For we hold that a person is justified by faith apart from works prescribed by the law? Or is God the God of Jews only? Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one, and he will justify the circumcised on the ground of faith and the uncircumcised through that same faith. 
Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord, who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ, and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. For the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.